Hey guys, I thought I would do a Shop My Stash video, uh, you know, kind of a basic Shop My Stash where I am looking for old favorites, products that I haven't used in a really long time. And I always start these videos out kind of in vlog style, so I thought I would just set my camera up here, you know, in front of my window. But I'm thinking now maybe we'll just do the Shop My Stash look in front of the window. We'll just do it by natural light. Uh, when I did this, when I talked about the Victoria Beckham the new priming moisturizer in golden and i sat here in front of the natural light i got so many great positive comments how it was just well one it was a nice change and two it's always nice to see makeup in natural light it does always look a little bit different than studio lighting um, i feel like both are accurate but they're just different so anyway uh, maybe we'll do that so let me go ahead and turn you around we'll go through my collection we'll pick out some things that i have not used in a really long time and i'm just going to apologize right off the bat if I do end up picking something that maybe is out of stock or was limited edition or just not in production anymore I apologize um, I try and stay away from those things but so many of you again have commented that it doesn't bother you that you actually like seeing um, old limited edition products being used uh, some of you have them you like kind of being reminded of them yourself. So I just wanted to mention that, but let's go ahead and take a look at my collection. All right, so here is my first foundation drawer. And let's see, let's see. I feel like oh, I just kind of use this for a girl on video. Um, hmm. Okay, this one I have not used in a very long time. It's not my favorite, um, but that is definitely one. What is over here? Oh, these are just some primers. Let's go ahead and take a look at my other drawer. All right, we have some cushions. I haven't used a cushion in a while. Uh, these Tom Fords are very well loved. Um, I actually don't really like the La Mer or the Play de Poe. I haven't used these in a while. Let's see. I just used these. I haven't used this in a while. You know what I haven't used in a long while is this. Yeah, let's let's use this Tom Ford because I I got this last summer and I remember I really liked it for summertime. So what shade do I have this in? This looks really pale. 2.0 buff. Well, we'll make it work. All right, so I'm gonna use this Tom Ford foundation. This is the Flawless Glow Foundation with SPF 30. All right, next is my concealer and powder drawer. Let's pick out an older concealer here. Hmm. Wow, this one I have not used in a while, but I still kind of consider this fairly new. You know, I haven't used this Glossier in a while. I have it in the shade G11. Yep, let's pull this out. And then in terms of powder, well, I definitely use my By Terry's. Uh, I definitely use my Coke and Dough. That one is very well loved. What's under here? Oh, Vizzy Art. You know what? Let's use Vizzy Art for under the eyes. This is like one of those that I love just kind of tapping onto my concealer. What about this Chantecai? This is the HD Perfecting Powder. It's just, it's really sheer, really, really beautiful. I haven't used this in a very long time, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Here is my cream product drawer. God, this looks like a mess. Um, <laughs> you know, I haven't used these Pat McGrath um, stick highlighters in forever. Yeah, so let me pull out, I think Nude was my favorite shade. Where are the shade names? Oh, here they are. This one is bronze. That one's a little bit too deep for me. This one is golden. And then this one is nude. So I'll pull out nude. Okay, I think that's it for this drawer. Here is my face palette drawer. Oh my god, this drawer is really, really heavy. Um, anything I have not used here in a long while. Um, you know, these are definitely products I feel like if I haven't used them in a while, they have been discontinued. So yeah, let's move on to the next drawer. All right, here is one of my bronzer drawers, and I think I already see what I want to use. This Edward Bess bronzer in Daydream is really, really great, and I have not used it. I definitely haven't used it this season yet, so I'm going to pull this one out. And here is one of my blush drawers. 
Let's see. Well, the Dior one I've been using well, just a lot. <laughs> just a lot recently. So let me put that aside. That's um, Ofra. That's relatively new. All right, I took out my other blush drawer. Um, we have Hourglass. I definitely haven't used. I haven't used this in so long. Maybe we'll use this one. This is the Orchid um, powder from Sicily, and it's so lovely. And I, I really haven't used it much. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the Sicily. All right, and I thought I would use a Chanel quad. I think this, I am thinking of maybe the blurry green i have not used that in such a long time and i think these came out like last fall it's really been a while uh what's this oh that one i used a lot <laughs> oh here's blurry mauve and here is blurry green let's take a look at it yeah look how pretty that is okay so i'll use this for eyeshadow and here is my lip gloss drawer. <laughs> uh, I think because the blurry green, well, let's pull it down here so we can take a look. It's, you know, it's like fairly neutral. So I think something either peachy or pinky would work. Maybe peachy a little bit more. Let me look for something that has a little bit of a peach tinge to it. Of course, any of these Wayne Goss ones would be perfect, but I've, I've been using those a lot lately. <laughs> Oh wow, I have not used these in a while. Okay, so this is an option, these hourglass ones. I think either of these, this one probably more than this one, but I think either of these colors would work. Oh my gosh, look at these J.Lo Inglot ones. I think either of these would work too. Ooh, or this Louboutin, oh, look at that color. Yeah, I think it strikes the right peachy tone. These are, are a little bit too nude. Yeah, this one kind of, I think either of these, maybe I'll pull these two out and see if there's any major difference. All right, so we'll go with these two. All right, I just opened up the blinds on my other window. I hope that isn't blowing out my face too much. But anyway, we're just gonna go with it. Natural lighting. So let's go ahead and start with the Tom Ford that we've picked out. This is the Flawless Glow Foundation with SPF 30, and I have it in the shade 2 Buff. This is the foundation that came out I believe last summer. It's kind of like a serum foundation. It has a very thin texture. This is like a dropper. Drop. A couple drops on the back of my hand. I remember thinking this had more coverage than I thought because it's so thin, but it's really, really pigmented. So I actually have a sponge today. I remember to actually wet one. I'm just going to take the butt of the sponge and yeah, start pouncing. I think the sponge is definitely shearing this out. I think I was putting this on with like a brush before, even maybe just my fingers. But it has a really radiant kind of finish. Can you guys see that on my cheek? So it definitely lives up to the name of Flawless Glow Foundation. And I do think this shade is a little light for me now. Um, so I think we'll just have to warm it up with some bronzer which will be easy to do. We took out that Edward Best bronzer, so that'll be nice. I do love the way this foundation looks. I think the one thing that is definitely a turnoff for me is that it smells like lavender. It has lavender oil in here, which I know can be sensitizing. I think it can be bothersome <laughs> to some people. I don't think it bothers my skin so much. And I've said this before, um, I just don't like the scent of lavender. It's probably an unpopular opinion, but it's supposed to be very relaxing um, and very soothing, but I, sh I just don't like it. So there is a nice like light layer. I think I will leave it there. I think you'll see how light it is. It's almost lighter than my neck at this point, which is light, 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 light. Look at that beautiful sheen. You really have to like a glowy base to like this foundation, which I do, I do. And I like the application with the sponge. It definitely is a little bit uh, lighter. You can see all of my sunspots here. Definitely a lot lighter than, you know, brush finger application. Next up, I have the Glossier Concealer. I have it in the shade G11, 
and I just look at this this is like almost a brand new tub I used up quite a bit of it before they renumbered these and I can't even remember what I had it was probably like light or something like that anyway I went ahead and purchased G11 because I wanted to check out the new shade range and I used this like once or twice and then just haven't really used it but I really like this stretch concealer of Glossier's it's very very emollient which I thought would actually be a nice match to this uh, foundation from Tom Ford so let's see if the shade is actually a good match I think so wow I am really really pale in the uh, fall winter aren't I All right, there is the stretch concealer. Wow, it's actually more flawless than I remember. Wow. The coverage of this is definitely on the lighter side. All right, wow. I knew I liked the stretch concealer and it's definitely been one of my favorites in the past, but I think I forgot how like hydrated it makes your under eyes look. Next, I took out the Viseart setting powder. This is one of my all time favorite under eye setting powders and it has like the net at the top that happens to be like my favorite like powder container design. You know what I mean? Like I don't like just the holes at the top because that's like really, really messy. Um, and this I like because you can pounce like your sponge or your brush or your puff or whatever. You can just like pounce it onto the net and the net kind of like sifts it as well. So this is my favorite design, but I'm just going to grab a little bit with my finger. That's actually kind of a lot. And just going to press this onto the concealer and it does the most fantastic job of blurring. It's actually very, very similar to the By Terry um, Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. I just, I find them to be, I find them to be very, very similar. I know that one has hyaluronic acid in it. I don't believe this one does, but they just have such a similar effect. Totally mattifies, it blurs, it doesn't look dry. It's just really, really nice. And then I grabbed the um, Chantecai HD Perfecting Powder for the rest of my face. And I just have my BK Beauty 102 sponge, uh, brush, sponge, <laughs> my 102 brush here. I'm just gonna brush this on lightly just to kind of set everything. And this is one of the softest, silkiest, finest powders you're ever, ever going to get your hands on. If you can ever go in store and just like finger swatch this powder, I highly recommend it. It just, it feels so amazing. All right, next up is the Edward Bess Ultra Luminous Bronzer. This is in the shade Daydream. And I'm going to grab my Chikahoto F01 brush. This is one of those really natural bronzers pretty much just brush it all over your face if you're looking for like an all over sun kissed look. Such a pretty, pretty neutral tone. All right, and next for blush, we pulled out the Sisley um, Orchid, they call this a highlighter blush with White Lily. Um, this is shade number three, so this is like the coral shade. And I think I'm just gonna go in with the same brush here, the um, Chikahoto F01 and I'm just gonna swirl it all over because there's like three different shades in there. So I'm just gonna swirl it all over and just lightly brush it onto my cheeks here. And this has such a beautiful like satin kind of sheen. Do you see that really beautiful satin sheen? Isn't that so pretty? I do think the daylight is exaggerating it a bit on camera. In real life, it just looks like like satin. In the viewfinder it looks really like metallic shiny. I think the natural daylight is playing me a little bit but it's like a beautiful satin sheen. Next I took out the Pat McGrath um, highlighter stick and this is a cream highlight. I have it in nude and these are the highlight sticks with like the balm at one end and then the actual highlight at the other. So I'm just going to use the highlight and I usually just uh, put this on with my finger, you know, I'll just grab a little bit of my finger and then tap it on. But since I have a sponge here, I'm going to try the sponge. I'm just going to use the side that I use the um, foundation for. And I'm just kind of dragging it across this highlight stick and I'm just going to pounce. I think what I need to do is actually use the pointy side of the sponge because when I was using the butt side, I think I was just kind of putting it on top of the blush. So I'm going to use the pointy side so I can kind of 
very precisely put the highlight where I want it. So I grab, well, that's a, that's a lot of highlight. But let's see what happens. Oh, that's pretty. I do think I need to blend it in with my finger a bit, though. Like, I feel like you can see the sponge marks. Yeah, I think I prefer finger application with that highlight. But it's, a, it's such a pretty highlight. You know, it's not like crazy, crazy, but it's such a pretty highlight, and that nude shade just works really well. All right, just gonna use my Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel for my eyebrows. All right, and now for the Chanel Blurry Green Quad. I, whoops. <laughs> I definitely have to use the green color. Uh, so let's see. I think I'll start with this shade right here. I'm going to put that in the inner portion of my lid, and I've got my Surat, uh, I think this is the classic eyeshadow brush. Yeah, I think maybe there's two sizes, and this is a small one. Anyway, I'll link everything down below, but this is the Surat, uh, like, flat shader brush, and I'm going to go into that lighter, taupey shade. Ooh, so pretty. That is a really pigmented shade. I did not pick up that much product. Next I've got my BK Beauty 202 uh, eyeshadow brush and uh, I'm gonna try this with the green shade. I don't know if I need something a little bit more dense. This is a pretty fluffy brush. Uh, but I'm gonna go into the green shade and I'm going to place this on the outer corner and blend in. Smoky. A lot smokier than I was going for, but I don't know. What did I expect with that green shade? It's pretty deep. Ooh, but I like it. And then I think for liner, what I'm going to do is use the Surat brush. I'm going to go into the even deeper green shade up here. Just grab some on the tips of this brush and then just drag it along my lower lash line. All right, little daytime, <laughs> daytime smoky look. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and put on some mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes first, and then I've got my um, Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. Mascara is definitely something I can't uh, use an old product for. I think that would be kind of grody. Right. Eyes are done, and then we pulled out two lip glosses to try. So. I have this Louboutin, wow, is this the number of it? 630L? Is that the shade number? That's the only kind of number letter indication on here. And I wish I could remember the name of this, but I can't. Anyway, and then we also pulled out the Hourglass Unreal Lip Gloss in Ignite. These are kind of similar. I think the Louboutin is a little bit lighter. Uh, let's try that. There's the Louboutin gloss, really natural. Okay, let me take this off and then we'll try the Hourglass. I feel like I'm tasting this Louboutin gloss a little bit too much. I wonder if it's going bad, possibly. When I do my lip collection video, which is coming, I think that's gonna be a big declutter, unfortunately. Here is the Ignite shade from Hourglass. Yeah, this shade is just a little like less frosty than the Louboutin but I'm gonna go with this one only because the Louboutin tasted a little odd. All right, so here is my final Shop My Stash look with Forgotten Loves, Oldies But Goodies, I don't know what I'm gonna name this video, and I hope you enjoyed it in front of natural lighting. I think it's fun for me to sit here in like a little bit more of a casual setting instead of my, you know, filming setup. I just, I don't know, I just personally feel a little bit more relaxed. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.